Do you know that the average Pentecostal cannot pray for five minutes without tongues? You know the reason why? It is not spirituality. No, it is lack of content. If I tell you, for instance, just thank the Lord and, and worship instead. Why are you speaking in tongues? To thank the Lord. If I say pray for your job, pray for your job. What is rekebarakato? No, that time will come. But pray for your job. Start with the English. I'm not trying to minimize the place of glossolia. I love it. I speak, I rap in tongues. I love it. But the tongue should not be because I have, have lost words. It's because I have so many words and the best way to express it is in mystery. The word theology never meant study of God. The word theology meant prayer. If you have time to study the word, you will have time to develop a library a robust library that you can pray from so i question your tongues is your tongues an outpour of excesses or a lack of you know what i want to say guys eh? in this christian race just know god for yourself if you don't know god for yourself and know the bible for yourself going to church does not mean that you know god being close to one bishop or act bishop does not mean that you know god does not mean you know the Bible, just know the Bible for yourself. The Bible says, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Study to show yourself, I approve unto God a workman that needs not to be ashamed. One, but rightly dividing the word of truth. The word of truth. No God for yourself, because if you don't know God for yourself, eh, element like this that you spoke here now, right? They will throw you into a state of confusion. I want to take this guy up. Number one, this guy said, um, when you speak in tongue, right? When you speak in tongue, you are when you speak in tongue, praying in tongue and everything, you know, you are lazy, you right? You don't have you are not loaded with the word. You are not loaded with the word to pour out, right? Firstly, let me address the issue of tongue. According to First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2, I'm reading from um, let me read from English Standard Version. I will also read from Berry's Standard Bible. English Standard Version says, for one. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. For one who speaks in, in a tongue speaks not to men, but to God. For no one understands him, but the utter mysteries in the realm of the spirit. According to Bering Bible, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 2. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. Indeed, no one understands him. He utter mysteries in the realm of the spirit. If you are somebody who is in the prophetic, I tell you the truth, you pray more in tongues. If you are somebody who fasts a lot, who like prayer a lot, you pray more in tongues. There are times you wake up in the night, you start to yourself praying in tongues. Alright? Okay, let me go back to what this guy said. He said you are not loaded many words. The likes of Pastor Chris and the rest. Pastor Chris that eats, he doesn't just quote scripture, he eats Bible. Pastor Chris ate, in fact, in fact, if they do, if, the, if, if Pastor Chris leave this world and they do a top scene on it, the only thing they will see is scripture. I'm telling the truth. So, those who always pray it, I don't believe on teaching power to speak it, or I don't believe on that, okay? So, the place of Pastor Chris ministry who believe more or pray the tongues, he's not telling me he doesn't know the word. This guy speaking that doesn't know Bible like Pastor Chris. Let me take this guy up based on his word that said that uh, he's only way loaded in the word, you understand? You have many words. So you have many words to say in prayer. Let me take him up in in um uh I want to get this scripture. Uh just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. In uh yes, this place. Uh I want to get this scripture. I'm not getting the exact scripture I want, please. Guys, just pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Um all right, I've, I've I think I've seen the scripture I'm looking for now in Matthew chapter 6. <coughs> Matthew chapter 6 verse 7. I want to read from English Standard Version. I will also read from Berlin Bible. English Standard Version said, And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrase as the Gentiles do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. I want you to underline the word many words. According to Berlin Standard Bible, he said, And when you pray, do not babble or like Bible on like pagans for they think that by their many words they will be heard. So this guy that is saying now, when you are loaded, all right, you keep on having enough word to repeat to repeat. If you are that type, you have many words to repeat, just to repeat, repeat your same prayer. Bible now is calling you pagan. So this guy now, if you read your Bible now, put it to him. Go Bible scripture calling. 
beggar. So, guys, in order for elements like this not to throw you into confusion, please study the scripture for yourself. Oh. No Bible for yourself. Oh. No Bible for yourself. If not, they will throw you to a metal gulag and emotional dungeon. My name now legal so man no cause poor na here with grammar. Please send me like this video and please share it. Thank you. I will see you in my next video. God bless you.